All right, folks, so it's just been five months since the original Galaxy Watch Active was released and Samsung just announced the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And you would think with that short a time period, this would just be an incremental upgrade, but they actually packed a lot more inside. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the new features that were announced. And just like usual, I'll be doing an extensive review as soon as I get my hands on one. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Des with Desfit, and I like to do in-depth reviews of sports technology where I like to go into as much detail as possible just so you can get a better idea if a device is going to work for you and if you haven't checked out my review of the original galaxy watch active i'll have a link for it up here as well as in the description below the first big thing with the active 2 is that it's now going to have a touch bezel on the outside of the device so it's going to bring that fame functionality which is one of the big reasons why people like samsung watches so much to the active lineup it's a very unique hardware interface that allows you to interact with the device and the exclusion of the rotating bezel from the original galaxy watch active was definitely a big sticky point so it's nice to see that samsung listened to the feedback and since it doesn't have the physical dial, it'll utilize haptic feedback to provide a little vibration as you run your finger on the outside of the bezel to kind of mimic that very satisfying notchy feel that you got from the physical bezel. And I really like that physical rotating bezel quite a bit. And then the next substantial addition is that there's going to be an LTE version of the Active 2, and Samsung hasn't released pricing on that particular model quite yet, but definitely make sure to keep an eye out in the comment section down below for that information. But with the LTE functionality, that's going to enable you to do calls, text, stream Spotify, as well as YouTube, which sounds pretty impressive. But just note that I did notice a few little caveats on Samsung's website where you must first pair the Active 2 with a compatible Samsung Galaxy device for some of that functionality. So some of that functionality may be limited to Samsung phone owners. Inside the Active 2, the processor and RAM have remained the same, but I never really had an issue with the original Galaxy Watch Active ever bogging down or being slow, so I don't think that's too big of an issue. And it does also have the same four gigabytes of internal storage for music and apps and all that good stuff. And then on the health and fitness side of things, there's gonna be two pretty big items. The first of which is gonna be ECG, which up until this point has only been available on the Apple Watch Series 4 as well as Withings devices. But just like the Apple Watch Series 4, the ECG functionality won't be available at launch, so just keep that in mind. But the one thing that caught my eye more than anything else that was announced today was that the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is now gonna have a brand new heart rate sensor that's gonna have eight photo diodes that doubles the amount from the original Galaxy Watch Active. Now, if you watched any of my previous Galaxy Watch reviews, you'll probably know that the heart rate sensor was definitely the weak point and it didn't necessarily deliver results that was kinda on par with a fitness device. So I'm extremely happy to see that update. Whether it's gonna perform, that's another story, but I am definitely really excited to test it out. And then in terms of battery life, the 40 millimeter version has a 230 milliamp hour battery, which they're advertising will get you up to, I think two days of battery life. And then the 44 millimeter version will have a 340 milliamp hour battery. So that maybe should last you three days. And the 44 millimeter version will also have a larger display, of course. The 40 millimeter version without LTE is gonna run 279 at launch, and then the 44 millimeter version is gonna run 299, which is substantially more than the original Galaxy Watch Active for sure, but I think they did pack a lot more inside as well. But let us all know what you think in the comment section down below of whether you think the price is worth all the new features. So the original Galaxy Watch Active brought much better GPS performance than the Gear Sport as well as the original Galaxy Watch with the physical rotating dial, which was pretty awesome to see. But the heart rate performance still left a bit to be desired. So that's definitely one of the primary things I wanna test out with the Active too. But the other strange thing was that the workout routines that were designed to automatically count your reps on the original Active, it didn't really work all that well for some reason, and then, it, but it really worked well on the Gear Sport as well as the Galaxy Watch. So I'm not really sure what was going on there, but I hope to see that improved on the Active 2 as well. Anyhow, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel to get a notification of my first impressions of the Active 2 whenever I get my hands on one. And in the meantime, have fun with your fitness and we will see you in the next video.